high idle could be the most important mod on a diesel truck. The purpose of high idle is to avoid a condition called wet stacking. An engine at idle does not create high enough cylinder temps to atomize the entire amount of fuel being injected into each cylinder causing unburnt fuel to mix with and wash down the oil from the cylinder walls thus diluting the engine oil with diesel fuel and causing excessive wear. All class 8 and 6 engines have the ability to rise the idle through the use of cruise control since their conversion to electric electronic engine controls most manufacturers recommend a minimum of 1000 rpm for extended prolonged idle periods and guys i'm not that smart i'm reading this from my phone this is on the forum they explained it a lot better than i could but continuing continuing what this uh forum this guy uh, his name is heavy truck mechanic this was in 2008 that he posted this on my 06 truck when temps are low enough it will idle up to a thousand rpm after three minutes at base idle or i can engage high idle by pressing the cruise control button and on then pressing the resume set it will instantly jump to 1100 rpm if i continue to hold the resume set button the engine will continue to rise to 1500 RPM and will stay there until I disengage cruise on off button or step on the brake. So I get this so often, you know, people will say to me, the engine just started idling up on its own and I don't know why it's doing that. I immediately hit the brake. You don't want to do that. If the engine, if you're going to idle the engine and it's going to bring up the RPMs on the six sevens, it will do it on its own, even without any input. The computer just knows when to do it. Sometimes it's when it's hot out. Sometimes it's not. Sometimes, most of the time, it's when it's cold out. But it will do this in the and for extended idle periods, even if it's hot out. These engines run on compression and heat, and if the engine is just idling for too long, there's not enough compression and heat to get the most optimum burn of the fuel. And as far as fuel fuel consumption is concerned in high idle these diesels automatically don't burn a ton of fuel to idle compared to a port injected gasoline engine but even direct injected gasoline engines burn a significantly smaller amount of fuel while idling because they can run so much less fuel per combustion cycle even just the nature of direct injected engines even a direct injected gasoline engine can run a very lean mixture of like 40 parts air to one part of fuel because the fuel is injected into the cylinder on the power stroke as the cylinder is coming up and compressing well it's it's injecting the fuel on the compression stroke late in the compression stroke so as the cylinder is coming or the piston is coming up it's injecting the fuel in a lot smaller amount of fuel is required to maintain an idle so Yes, you burn a little bit more fuel at high idle compared to just normal idle, but it's so much better for the engine and it's still not going to burn that much more fuel. It's just these are these are efficient at idling just by the nature of diesel. So let me show you guys my setup for my high idle. So for my 6.7 power stroke, my high idle is on my upfitter switch number one. So when I go ahead and start this truck, and I hit my brake. You do need the brake to be engaged. Now with the brake, you only need a small, small amount, just enough for the sensor to register that you're hitting the brake. You don't need to go all the way down. So just a little bit, just so the brake light turns on and then hit that up for the switch number one. And my idle is brought up to about 12 to 30, eh, about 1200 RPM. That is going to be better. So if I'm in the winter and I'm plowing snow, this actually did happen where I went to go get loaded with salt. They were closed for another 30 minutes. What am I going to do? I'm going to go all the way home. I, I don't have time for that. So I ended up just taking a break, sitting in the truck, closing my eyes for 30 minutes. It was freezing cold outside. I turned it I turned on high idle and that was 
better than just idling the truck normally in those cold temperatures so one of the questions that i kind of brought up to a diesel mechanic is should i let the computer control the high idle and just do it whenever it feels best or should i actually use my switch my outfitter switch to do high idle can i trust the truck can i trust the computer because the truck will do this and there's other things that it does with the uh throttle body and things like that and you even if you're in high idle you can hear that stuff happening when it gets cold it'll make a different noise it'll make a different tone it'll kick it into an even even slightly higher idle you can hear the turbo whistle a little so there's things that the truck will do on top of being in high idle when you are in high idle but i was asking should i even use high idle should i just trust the computer and the diesel mechanic told me that anytime you're idling for more than like three or four minutes kick it into high idle no matter what if you're going to idle the truck summer fall winter spring no matter what kick it into high idle if you're going to idle for more than a few minutes so that's what i've been doing and let me go ahead and show you guys how this is hooked up so this is our high idle right here let me move this out of the way and pull this out so right here you have your upfitter bundle and this wire right here, the yellow with the green stripe, is connected to our pass-through wire that is up in there. And that's actually a bundle of wires that just pass through the firewall to allow upfitters to wire things inside of the cab that are inside the engine. So you can basically, you basically have dead-end wires that go to the uh, engine bay through the firewall you don't have to put a new hole in the firewall it makes life a lot easier if you're an upfitter so the yellow with green stripe goes to our upfitter switch number one and our green wire and our white with a brown stripe or black stripe it's hard to see that that is all hooked up with our resistor now different value resistors create different engine rpms ours is set to about 1200 rpm but you could set yours to be a little bit higher rpm if you want 1200 seems to be about good for me now if you want more detail on how to hook this up like this i'll link the video to describe that it is a video by power stroke tech talk he actually hooked this up and when you look at the video, you'll see that he hooked this up exactly how he does in the video. So that's pretty clean. It's all covered up. The, the resistor's just in here. Um, this, you can unplug this and have more access if needed. Uh, but this just tucks up in here real nice. And this plug gets put, installed in a certain position, like so. And yeah, that's how that goes. Let me put this cover back on and close out this video. So I wanted to talk about high idle. It's something that's come up. I've seen it when I've been uh, working on these trucks a little bit on the side. One of the guys that I was doing some work for come and his tr truck starts idling up and he immediately turns it off. And I had to explain like it's okay if the truck idles up and it has a slightly elevated RPM. It's not going to burn that much more fuel, and it's what the truck wants to do. It's better for the combustion cycle. So if your truck idles up, the computer just determines that it's needs it needs a higher a higher idle than what it's at. Then hey, it's okay to just let it do its thing. But having a high idle mod, one of the best mods you can get. But anyway, this is DS Trucks. My name is Sean. See you guys in the next video. Over and out.